JT subscribes to a cell phone texting plan with three other members of his family. Within any given month, they cannot send more than 500 text messages total. So they cannot send more than 500 text messages total. At the end of this month, JT had sent 25 more texts than his older sister. Let me highlight. Let me do this in different colors. So at the end of the month, JT had sent 25 more texts than his older sister. 50 fewer texts than his younger sister. 50 fewer texts than his younger sister. And, and 125 more texts than his mother. How many texts could JT have sent if they did not go over? How many texts could JT have sent if they did not go over the 500 text limit? So let's just define some variables over here. Let's define. Well, let's say OS O dot S is. Well, let's just say O. O is for older sister. So this is number of texts text by older sister by older sister. Let's say that y is equal to number of texts by his younger sister by his younger sister. And then we'll use m m is equal to the number of texts by his mother, by his mother. And we'll use j for number of texts by jt. So j is equal to number by jt. So the total number of texts that everyone sent cannot be more than 500. So if we take the sum of jt's texts plus his older sister's texts plus his younger sister's texts plus his mother's texts plus his mother's texts they all have to be less than or equal to 500 total texts right it can't be more than 500 so the, the sum has to be less than or equal to 500 now how can we express each of these in terms of the number of texts jt sent well they give us some information here this first statement, JT had sent 24 more texts than his older sister. So J is equal to 25 plus the number of texts of his older sister, which we say is O. It's not a 0. That's an O for older sister. And they also tell us that JT sent 50 fewer texts than his younger sister. So J, J is also equal to the younger sister minus 50. Right? 50 fewer texts than his younger sister. And then finally, they say 125 more texts than his mother. So j is equal to mother plus 125. Now, I want this equation all in terms of j's, because we want to say how many texts could jt have sent. So I want all of these expressed in j. So let's just solve each of these for. Uh, for O in terms of J, solve for Y in terms of J, solve for M in terms of J, and then we can substitute back over here. So if if J is equal to 25 plus O, if we subtract 25 from both sides of this equation, we get J minus 25 is equal to O. These are the same thing. The, if you just take this and subtract 25 from both sides, you get that right there. Now here, if you add 50 to both sides of this equation, if you add 50 to both sides of this equation, j plus 50 is equal to the number of texts that his younger sister sent. Just added 50 to both sides. And then over here, if you subtract 125 from both sides of this equation, let me scroll over a little bit. If you subtract 125 from both sides, you get j minus 125 is equal to the number of texts sent by his mother. And we could have gone straight here. This first statement, jt has sent 25 more texts than his older sister. So if you take the number of texts jt sent, subtracted 25, you'd get the number of texts by his older sister. That is an o. It is not a 0. o for older. Likewise, he sent 50 fewer texts than his younger sister. So if you take the number of texts he sent, Add 50 to it, you're going to get how many his younger sister had sent. And then finally, he sent 125 more than his mother. So if you took JT's tax, you take out 125, then that's how many his mother sent. So now that we have this, we can substitute for each of these variables into the original equation. So you have JT's tax plus his older sister's texts. But we know that O is the same thing as JT's tax minus 25. So we write JT's tax minus 25. 
And then you have plus his younger sister's text, but we know that's JT's text plus 50. So plus JT's text plus 50. And then you have his mother's texts. But his mother's texts are just JT's texts minus 125. So plus J minus 125. And all of that has to be less than or equal to 500. So let's add the J's. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 J's. So you have 4 J's. And let's add the constants. You have a negative 25 plus a 50, which is 25. And then you have 25 minus 125. So 25 minus 125 is negative 100. So 4j minus 100, I just added all the constant terms, has to be less than or equal to less than or equal to 500. And now this is a pretty straightforward inequality. Add 100 to both sides. Let's add 100 to both sides. And we get 4j, these cancel out, we get 4j is less than or equal to 600. Divide both sides by 4. Don't have to worry about the inequality, since 4 is a positive number. And we get j is less than or equal to 150. So jt had to send less than or less than or equal. He, uh, he had to send 150 or fewer texts in that month in order for all the constraints to match up and for the family as a com as a combined unit to send less than 500